Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert repeating decimals to fractions. And this is part two. In part one, we only had repeating digits to the right of the decimal. In part two here, we will have non-repeating digits and repeating digits to the right of the decimal. If you haven't already, I would start with part one and then move on here to part two. The link to part one is down in the description if you need it. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 0 0.2 and then 4, 7 repeating. So the two in the tenths place is a non-repeating digit. And then the four and the seven do repeat. Now we're going to use the same steps we used in part one. So for step one, we need to write an equation where x equals the repeating decimal. So x equals 0 0.24747, and this continues on forever. Now we can move on to step two, and we'll use that equation from step one when we work through step two. So we need to create two equations, one with the repeating digit or digits just to the left of the decimal. And then the other equation, we need the repeating digit or digits just to the right of the decimal. And we're going to multiply by powers of 10 in order to do this. Let's start by getting the repeating digits, four and seven, just to the left of the decimal. It looks like we need to shift the digits three places to the left in order to do this. And we can think through this by moving the decimal three times to the right. So we're multiplying that side of the equation by 1000. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So we need to multiply the left side by 1000 as well. That gives us 1000 x equals 247.47 repeating. Now we need an equation with those repeating digits just to the right of the decimal. So we need to shift the digits one place to the left. And we can think of this as moving the decimal once to the right. So the decimal will be right here. So we have those repeating digits four and seven, again, just to the right of the decimal. So we multiplied that right side of the equation by 10. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So we need to multiply the left side by 10 as well. That gives us 10 X equals two point four seven repeating. So here we have the repeating digits just to the left of the decimal. And here we have the repeating digits just to the right of the decimal. That brings us to step three, where we can subtract these equations to remove the repeating digits four and seven. So let's subtract here. And we'll start with 1000 X minus 10 X. That gives us 990 X. And then on the right side, the repeating digits 0.47 cancel each other out. 0.47 repeating minus 0.47 repeating, those are going to equal zero. Again, they cancel out. So we are getting rid of the repeating digits. Seven minus two is five. Then we have four and two. So we have 245. Now we have an equation that we can solve for X. 990 X equals 245. So moving on to step four, we need to solve for X and then simplify if possible. Let's start by isolating the variable of X. So we need to divide both sides by 990. So on the left side, X is now isolated. And then on the right side, we have 245, 900, 
ninetieths, 245 over 990. Now we can look to simplify if possible. We do have a greatest common factor of 5 between 245 and 990. So let's divide the numerator by 5 and the denominator by 5. 245 divided by 5 gives us 49. And then 990 divided by 5 gives us 198. The only common factor between 49 and 198 is 1, so this is now in simplest form. So going back up to the original decimal here, 0 0.2 and then 47 repeating equals 49 198 as a fraction, 49 over 198. And remember, we can always double check this by dividing the numerator by the denominator, either with a calculator or by hand. Either way, you should get the original repeating decimal once you divide. Let's move on to number two, where we have 9.1 and then six repeating. So here we have a whole number, nine. But let's forget about that whole number for now. We will worry about that at the end. Let's focus on the repeating decimal. So x equals, again, don't worry about the 9. We'll worry about that at the end. So we'll put 0 0.1 and then the 6 repeats. Now we need to create two equations. One with the repeating digit of 6 just to the left of the decimal and then one with the repeating digit of six just to the right of the decimal. So let's start by getting that repeating digit of six just to the left. So we need to shift the digits two places to the left, and we can think through this by moving the decimal twice to the right. So we're multiplying by 100. So multiply both sides of the equation by 100. That gives us 100x equals 16.6 .6 repeating. Now we need an equation with the repeating six just to the right of the decimal. So let's move the digits one place to the left and we can think through that by moving the decimal once to the right. So we're multiplying by 10. Multiply both sides of the equation by 10. That gives us 10 x equals 1.6 repeating. So we have the repeating digit just to the left of the decimal and the repeating digit just to the right of the decimal. And now we are able to subtract and get rid of those repeating digits. 100x minus 10x gives us 90x equals and then on the right side, the repeating sixes, if we subtract those, they cancel out, they equal zero. So we end up with 16 minus one, which gives us 15. So now we have the equation 90x equals 15. So let's solve for x and we can simplify if possible. In order to isolate that variable of x, we need to divide both sides by 90. So on the left side of the equation, x is now isolated. And then on the right side of the equation, we have 15 ninetieths, or 15 over 90. And that fraction equals 0 0.1 and then 6 repeating. There is a greatest common factor of 15 between 15 and 90, so we can simplify here. Let's divide the numerator and denominator by 15. 15 divided by 15 gives us one, and then 90 divided by 15 gives us six. The only common factor between one and six is one, so this is now in simplest form, one sixth. So going back up to the original number, don't forget this whole number of nine. We have nine, and one sixth. So again, don't forget the whole number there. 
9.1 and then 6 repeating equals 9 and 1 sixth. So there you have it. There's how to convert repeating decimals to fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.